Yeah, you know, one of the things that people keep asking me is, is banking crisis over? Uh, for the most part, it is. But one of the things that bothers me as an economist driving around thinking about the flow of money in the United States is the fact that um, all these banks had the same issues Silicon Valley Bank had, right, and pension funds and whoever else, that they had all these bonds at par value, what they bought them for. They lose two-thirds of the value, and all that stuff sitting on their balance sheets um, waiting to take a loss if there's a run on the bank and they need liquidity. So the Fed stepped in and said, hey, we've got something for you. We'll lend you money against those bonds. Um, and not only we lend you money against those bonds, but we'll lend them at the value you bought them for, not the current market value you have. And current estimates are about a trillion dollars of losses sitting on the federal bank's balance sheet. I mean, that's creating a loss, right? So usually the Fed gets gives a billion dollars a year to the U.S. Treasury to help you know, pay for running the government. Um, this year, for the first time in 100 years, it's going to lose $100 billion. And so it's a $200 billion swing, right? So what does that mean for taxes? What does it mean when you shove you know, a trillion dollars of value back into the market, back into these banks' hands in the, in the, in the form of loans, right? They're going to lend that money, um, especially if the rates are cheap that they're being charged at a spread to you. So just some food for thought for you, you know, that you can kind of ruminate on and worry about because that's what I do and that way I won't be alone. Um, so hopefully this was uh, informative and let me know if you want to hear more. Thanks.